Strategies you can use. Buying the most food for the least money means using all your resources, money, time, and skills. Spend smart strategy number one: money. Buy the most you can with the dollars you have. First, compare unit prices to find the best dollar value. Unit price is the package price divided by a number of units, like ounces or items. Use unit pricing to compare package sizes. Bigger is not always cheaper. Brands, generic or store brands, are often but not always lower in price. Product forms, including fresh, frozen, and canned items. Some states require stores to show unit prices. Look for them on the shelf in front of or to the side of the product. If unit pricing is not posted, you can figure it yourself using the calculator on your cell phone to do the simple math. Second, compare the nutrition facts labels on products to find the best nutritional value. You can compare the gram amounts of fiber, sugar, or protein, for example, or compare the percent daily value amounts. A value of 20% or more is considered high. A value of 5% or less is considered low. Spend smart strategy number two: time. Invest your time to save money. First, use plan-ahead tactics. Spend 10 minutes in the morning putting ingredients into a slow cooker instead of after work in the ready-to-eat carry-out line. Once a week, make a double recipe of a favorite soup, stew, or casserole. Freeze the extra in meal-sized amounts. Spend 15 to 20 minutes planning a week's worth of evening meals. Check current supplies, then write a shopping list for what you need to buy. Second, make a price book to monitor prices of frequently purchased products. Find or buy a small address book or notebook. Write down the product name, package size, price, store, and date. Compare the written prices to advertised specials. After a few weeks, you'll know the best prices for the items on your list. Spend smart strategy number three. Skills. Use all the skills you have and develop new skills. First, apply your organizational skills. Use see-through storage containers for refrigerated leftovers. Check supplies before going to the store. Write the date on packaged foods before storing in freezer or cupboard. Arrange supplies so the oldest items are in front and use them first. Post a written inventory of what's in your freezer. Cross off or add items as they are used and purchased. Keep a grocery list in the notes section of your cell phone for easy reference. Plan potlucks with friends instead of meeting at restaurants. Second, practice your food preparation and meal planning skills. Label, date, and freeze leftover main dishes in meal-sized servings. Plan leftovers into next-day breakfasts, lunches, snacks, or dinners. Take a basic cooking class or get ideas from websites, cookbooks, and magazines. For more information, visit our website at http: colon slash slash z dot u m n dot e d u slash a f i m p a c t. Thank you.